What's going on? Swacking the fool in the building. Swacking the fool. I'm your boy GSP. You know I'm back. And I'm J Max and G. They've been saying we don't cover baseball. Say, so I, we, we, we we got somebody to cover baseball to. Because I'm tired of y'all talking. But this, this person that we got, he he's a baseball. This is what he do. All he, yeah. he first of all, all he talk about is baseball. I listen. I, we had to put him on the show because he wouldn't stop talking about baseball. Baseball. That's so, all he's so, talking so, about. So come on the show. Come so, on the show. Come on the show. He gonna tell us a rundown about swag baseball and, and everything we need to know. Because I don't know. I, I, I know my team good. Who but, team? <laughs> Brady? Come on, come on. You know they ain't. All right. Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we, I just want to know that the Braves get another 20 piece on. Can, 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 we, uh, can we, we got somebody? We got man, we got Lil Al in the building. Test, man. We got Lil Al. Lil Al is the uh, baseball uh, Our analyst. Analyst. And you know, he going he gonna, to he gonna fill us in. What's up, Al? Ain't nothing much, man. How y'all doing? Oh, all man. Right, we all right, man. We just swacking up for <laughs> I'm swagging a fool all the way in Houston, man. But uh, you know, but I've been keeping my eyes and ears to these swag baseball stuff, man. And and and, and G brought it up, some all corn baseball, man. That's a head. <laughs> we gotta start right there. <laughs> That's a head. Hey, we, we gonna start at the bottom. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. But I I give a little recap. Uh, yeah, give us give us a uh, give, for the people that don't know. Give us a a, a recap of the, of the season so far. Yeah, man. So we got we got the East Side right now, who uh, Alabama State, Florida A and M, and Bethune really running running the uh, East Side right now. Um, at number one, Alabama State is sixteen and four right now. They have won their last six series, I think. Uh, I don't even think they lost the series um, this year yet. So they really on fire right now. Florida A and M is fifteen and six. Yeah, you got to watch out for them boys. They got Breon Pula, who's probably the, uh, one of the best pitchers in the swag right now, and who is returning. Swag pitcher of the year from last year. You got Florida and M who was 15 and 6. Um, they've been smoking. They got some players who can hit the ball. Um, they got some pitchers who can pitch. Um, and I talked to um, a, a major league baseball coach um, on yesterday, and he said he's seen a few fam you uh, prospects on some um, prospect list too for the major league draft. So, good, good, um, okay, good. We need that. We yeah, need pros. I don't yeah. care what the sport is. We need pros. Right. And, and Bethune Cookman, they they've been doing all right there in the middle of the pack on the east side. They at number three right now. Bethune Cookman actually had a pretty good showing during a non-conference. Um, they didn't win against uh Florida or LSU, but they almost beat Florida. It came down to the ninth inning, um, and they ended up giving up the lead and lost that game. Um, they had a good showing I, against. I know, I know one thing. Man, hey, Florida got to be tired of these swag schools. They got to be. They are. They are. They are. They, they, yeah. they, they, they having a hard time, and everything comes to the swag with these with, with Florida. Right, right. And we just been just punching them in the mouth, you know, in all, all type of sports. Texas Southern started it off with basketball uh, uh, during basketball season. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> right. Now Bethune Cookman uh, slanging their hammer on them. So, man, that's a good sign for the swag, though. Right? We on the up and come. And, uh, you know, with the addition of FAMU and Bethune Cookman on the east side coming from the MEAC, man, that just made the whole east side a little stronger. Now, you know, on the east side, Jackson State was favored to win the east side this year. But Jackson State that's, ain't doing that's too That's what I've been wondering. Because, you know, they had that good year last year. They had that good year last year where well, they was damn near undefeated. Yeah. They yes. Ran, they, ran, yeah. they lost in the east. Yeah, they ran into a brick and wall. I haven't talked about them yet. Nah, they ain't had nothing really to talk about. Uh. They had a, a a good transfer come in from Georgia State, who we thought was gonna be a, a, a different maker, um, who pitches and plays the field and can hit the ball. But um, they have been dealing with some in, injuries. Uh, Shanar Brown, the six seven first baseman, he's been out. So they, um, Jackson State has lost a big bat in their lineup. Um, then Alabama and A and M been struggling a little bit. They got some uh, they got some JUCO guys that have been uh, giving them some help in the outfield too. So. They'll be good in the future with Coach Jones over there, Alabama AM. Then Mississippi Valley, they trying to piece it together. Um, yeah, ain't, ain't too much to say about that. Uh, but yeah, we can go ahead to the West side. Hey, well, look, 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 Al, before you go to the West, uh, I just gotta, I, I know you're about to do your thing, but will you say the East side is stronger than the West right now? Ooh. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna say that. Because you, when, you, when you mentioned Bethune Cook, you mentioned FAMU, and you said Alabama State rolling right now. I was just, you know, I, I, I know I kind of cut you off on, you know, telling me about the West, but I just wanted to know your opinion on that. So, so, so one, the, the top four teams from each side go to the uh, swag tournament. One through four on the east side and against 
the one through four on the west side. I'm gonna take the one through four on the um, west side. So okay, I, I, okay, I, 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 I got you. Well, continue, continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we let's move on to the west side. So we got PB is number one on the west side. It didn't, it didn't start off like that. I think Southern kind of started off kind of hot, then faded, then they've been on their little roller coaster uh, uh, season right now. But Prairie View has won. 12 of the last 13 games. So, Ooh, like, they, they, so is, they, it, is it pitching or they, they hitting? What is it? Man, I, I think it's pitching. They got a pitcher. Uh, I think his name is Mal Dodondo. Uh, he's a, like, top five in swag. So, um, I think it's a combination of both pitching and a little hitting, too, man. So, they just been rolling. I'm talking about sweeping everybody, bringing them brooms out. I'm talking about they cleaning up. Like, okay. like they got a maid out there in Prairie View, okay. right? Um, then we got we got Grambling State. Um, they 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 they're behind Prairie View at number two at fourteen and seven. Grambling, yeah. Now, listen, I ain't used to Grambling being good in number football, so that's that's good. That, that's, that's <laughs> right, good. That's right, good. right. It, it, it's changing. It, and and Grambling was at the bottom of the West um, at the beginning of the season, and they worked their way on up. Um, unfortunately, they ran ran into a couple of brick walls. They lost two series to Southern, one early in the season, one after the sea, uh later in the season, just past week two. So. Um, they've been on a, a rocking, rocking and rolling roller coaster type season too, um, and then Texas Southern they've been up and down. Um, they actually beat Southern um, like two or three weeks ago in a series out here in Houston. They beat them two to three, which I was surprised that I, I went to some of those games. I mean, I'm talking about thought, Texas Southern. Yeah, I thought Southern was uh, were outmatched Texas Southern, but you know they shook back after getting swept in Baton Rouge by uh, by Southern. So um, that's a good sign for them. And then we got Southern right behind them um, in fourth place in the west side. Uh, they just came off a series victory with Grambling. Um, they've been uh, they've been hitting the ball so so in the middle of the pack, and then uh, pitching been so so also. So that's kind of where they uh, up and down season goes. I know a lot of Southern alumni and, and, and former baseball players want to see more out of Southern because um, y'all already know the Southern baseball brand is upper echelon. So. Um, It'll be a good second half of the season. So, and then you got hey. Pine. Hmm? Yeah, look, so I know you said they take the top four. How far, this is just me being curious because you know I'm, I'm a Southern Knight. You know, mm-hmm. I, that's what I believe. How how close is number five and number four? Like, are we for sure getting to the tournament or we need to stay consistent? Like, how, how far are we looking? That's crazy. We, we, we pretty much in. We pretty much in. So, the next at five is Arkansas Pine Belt at five and 15. That's crazy though. Arkansas Pine Bluff beat Southern earlier in the year in the series, um, two games to three. So um, we thought Pine Bluff was going to show some fight, but uh, it don't look like it at five and fifteen in the sweat. And they then got somebody uh, worse than five and fifteen? Yeah, man. I don't want to say no name, but that's what we do. We got. We got. Did I say it right? Alcorn or Alcorn? Alcorn. Alcorn. Always Alcorn. We got it ain't like that. It ain't like your name, Al. It's opposite <laughs> of your name. Remember we that. got Alcorn. We got Alcorn in 2 and 18. And, and you know, obviously, that's a big storyline of uh, swag baseball. People who keep up with it, um, they've been struggling. They've been struggling. And, and, and we, 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 we really can't explain how struggling they've been struggling. But um, that's a that's I'm just glad we got two. I'm just yeah. glad we got two. And not zero, but that that's due to a lot of guys transferring from last year. Our, our Alcorn had a pretty decent um, squad, if I'm not mistaken. They had the um, – can't remember the guy's name. I think his last name was Garcia or something, but he was the leading hitter in the nation at one point in time in batting average. And he ended up transferring to Western Kentucky, and uh, ooh, he's doing pretty good right now um, over with that team. So they lost a lot of older guys. Uh, so right now they got a lot of young guys. That are trying that coach is trying to put put together to even survive the rest of the season. Um, I don't know the baseball coach now. I know he's Southern alum though, so I think he go get that team together. Come come for the off season. I think he gonna get a lot of you JUCO better. guys, and then you definitely see you definitely see Alcorn State um, more competitive back into the uh, very Ray day. So he, he he better because I got my pink slip <laughs> ready. Look, <laughs> he better. You he got better. them on speed now, cause look, don't don't hurt. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. Hey G, so hey, what's some what's some names we need to know about for, for people that you know? 
some some you know if we had to give give me between three and five names what, what school who, who we need to know about Alabama State, Breon Pooler, uh, pitcher of the year last year, might be pitcher of the year this year. Um, I think he's seven and one right now. Um, I saw <laughs> as that he pitched he pitched in a midweek game um against Auburn. You know, usually your best pitcher don't pitch during the week, he pitch on weekends, but um Alabama State was up in this game and trying to get the win, so coach got a little uh uh not selfish, but he got a little excited and he put his best pitcher in to try to close the game out. But um, he ended up giving up a run that game. But I, I saw some stuff that, that's definitely transferable to Major League Baseball. Good curveball, good slider. Looked like maybe 89, 90, 91 on the fastball. So um, he can move in and out the zone, spot it up. So I, I think that's a big name we can um, look for. Um, we got Jermaine Spears at Southern University who can hit the cover off the ball. Um, and he's hitting pretty well right now. I'm thinking like the high 400s or something like that. Um, we got Shamar Page at Grambling State. Um, who, That's the pitcher, huh? Yeah, he's a utility guy. He plays outfield on Saturdays and, and Sundays, and then he pitches on Fridays for Grambling. But um, Shamar has lost his last three decisions, if I'm not mistaken, which is kind of puzzling mm-hmm. to me. But but Shamar is leading the nation in strikeouts. Shamar has 109 strikeouts right now, which means he is pounding the strike zone, and he's getting batters out right there. And I I haven't seen I haven't seen Shamar pitch this year, um, so I don't know if it, if it's Gramlin making errors in the field or, or is it just timely hits by the other team. But um, Southern put a, a a good whooping on him on this past the weekend. Um, then I saw Texas Southern had beat up on him pretty 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 bad too when they came out here to Houston. So I mean it seems like he's getting guys out, striking guys out, which hopefully is gonna catch the eye of some scouts. So. Um, and I wish him the best of luck in the future, though. But, uh, yeah, Grambling got to figure out a way to uh, translate him on the mound and getting wins on the mound. Um, and FAMU, like I said earlier, FAMU and Bethune-Cookman, they have a few pitchers in, uh, that uh, one, of the, one of the MLB coaches I've talked to said that are on, um, on Scout's list right now. Um, what's the guy's name from FAMU? Okay. Uh, and rap uh, strikers. Yeah, but um he he he's like an upper upper 89, 90, 91 guy from FAMU and then Bethune got a Bethune just got a plethora of guys, man. They recruit down in South Florida. They get a lot of uh, Hispanic guys that can play ball and some of those guys be from Puerto Rico and Cuba and all that. And man, they really can ball. They really can ball at Bethune Cooking. So you can look out for some some of those guys. Uh Shannar Brown at uh, Jackson State, six seven first baseman. He can hit the ball solid. He hit gap to gap. He's a lot. That boy, that boy, stretching for that. He's stretching. He's stretching. He need to be. He needs to be on the basketball forward. field for okay. sure. They got a power forward playing first base. Okay, that's a power right, forward. right. And you know, Jackson, they love those multi-sport guys. With uh, is his name Malachi Wideman who plays Malachi basketball, Wyatt, yeah. basketball and football. So, um, yeah, man, you look look for him possibly to come out in the draft. Um, I think the guy's name is Elvis also, who pitches and uh, plays the field, who can hit the cover off the ball. Um, they got the, the player of the year, um, the hitter of the year at Jackson State. I can't remember his name, but um, he can hit too. But um, make, we can look for him to be in the draft too. So those are a couple of names. Oh, I forgot. Shortstop at uh, Gramlin State. Um, dang, I can't remember his name. Let me look it up right fast, y'all. I'm tripping. I am tripping. Ooh, and why you why you looking up, Al? Yeah, hey. I got a question for you. What's his name? Cam Buford. Cam Buford. He about six three, long. You don't see too many shortstops like that. Shortstops usually are short. Y'all think of Jose Altuve, who five six. Cam Buford like six three. Cam Buford come from a good baseball program out of Chicago called the um, the Chicago Aces, I think. Um, a lot of black guys come out of there, big time guys too. A lot of guys in the pros play for that uh, baseball program, so that's a good cat. Uh, Grandma State has the only thing um, he leads the league in home runs with eleven right now, but he's had a lot of errors this year um, in the field, and you can see that translate where uh, Grandma is at the bottom of the swag and um, um, fielding percentage. So um, if he can clean those errors up, I think he'll pre- be a pretty decent draft pick um, coming out the swag uh, this summer. So. Not not Al, you didn't told me. I asked you about players. You didn't told me. But Thune had a plethora of players. Fam, you, Fam, you, Jackson State, 
Alabama, Alabama State. State. You, you, you done told me about all them schools and all that. I need to know, what's your prediction for the tournament? I want to hear the prediction. And I'm going to tell you right now, everybody watching, so 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 the so the pressure's on. What's your what's your prediction? Well, well, give me some give me some predictions for the tournament. How you so, think it's gonna go? I, I, I give my I give my eight teams who I think are gonna make it. Um Alabama State, Florida A M Bethune, Cookman, Jackson State, and then we're gonna have Prairie View, Grambling, Southern, and Texas Southern. Now who got who who's gonna come out on top? Uh I'ma actually I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with Southern versus. I'm gonna go with Southern versus Bethune Cookman, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and say it like that. Last Ooh, year, wait, wait, nah, wait, nah, wait, nah, wait, 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 wait. All right. So, 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 you got Alabama State getting upset? Yeah, yeah. That's the tournament. That, that, that this this wouldn't be Alabama State's first time getting upset in the tournament. I'll tell you that. And even last year, Prairie View beat Southern in the first game, and then Southern came back in. Obviously, they swacked them in the uh, they swacked the food, them boys, and then end up making it to the championship <laughs> game. So, when it comes to this tournament, it's all about pitching matchups and who plays what day and who plays well what day. Like, all of this, um, um, in season conference records go 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 to waste. Like, it's it's straight up tournament ball now, which is different from um, in, in season ball. Like, coaches probably take a different approach, coaches might not even pitch their best pitcher the first game in the tournament. Cause it's just it's just all about matchups, but but um yeah I think I think Southern has the tools to get to the uh, championship game depending who they draw on the east side. Um, I do think Alabama. Who you, think, State, who you could see them having problems with on the east side? Um, I, I can see. So if the tournament was to begin today, the they'll play Alabama State, and I think they would have some issues with Alabama State pitchers. Um, Southern <clears throat> has struggled this year with um, good pitching, and that that's that's a concern for some old heads. So, um, I mean, if if Breon Pula come out throwing like I saw the other day, uh, yeah, it might be a little trouble for them. But then it's going to depend on Alabama State bats. Can those bats keep up with uh, Southern bats? So, I mean, it, like I said, it's all about who you draw, who you play, and, and how you play on that day. So. Gotcha. Look, and so you know, we hear about NIL and football, basketball, we hear about these NIL talk. Can you tell us, give us some NIL info about baseball? So NIL has swiped the nation in NCAA, especially in football, and then you got um some guys in basketball that have been getting NILs. Um so NIL hasn't really reached baseball yet, and particularly the swag. No people that I know of I know of that have gotten any contracts um but i do so, know so, so you hear you hear that right hey if you watching this and you want your school to be done you need to go ahead and open them pocket open the pocket right. up yeah open the pocket books up and, and all point i'm coming don't worry <laughs> we're gonna get it to kale because we got to turn this thing around i don't yeah, care yeah. what we got to do we're gonna do yeah. we, we we definitely got to open the pockets up the only thing is we're gonna be fighting other pwis with they pockets, we gonna be fighting major league baseball teams with they pockets too. So you gotta think of it like that. Uh, and baseball is an expensive sport, so a lot of people don't want to invest into baseball as a, as a collegiate sport because you got football who the cash cow, and, a, and then in the other schools you got basketball yeah. who the cash cow. So um, it's kind of, it kind of it's kind of on the back burner as far as supporting and giving money to. So. Um, I think uh, schools like FAMU, Bethune Cookman, and Southern and Grambling probably could, you know, you know, find ways to contribute to getting, you know, good players uh, like they already have. So I think in the future, maybe next year, sometime we'll start to see the effects of NIL and swag baseball. So, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Al, what what else you can tell us before we get on up out of here? Any last words? Oh man, uh, I'm gonna pray for Alcorn. I'm gonna pray for Alcorn and they baseball team. As long as you fix it, I'm praying, I'm praying with you. <laughs> Look, I want, I want to see them win. I want to see everybody black win. I want to see all these schools win. And uh, I, you know, and I, I got faith in our new coach. This is first year he was dealt the bad hey. hand. Uh, the last coach was fired late, and so you know we're gonna we're gonna stick with him. I hope we can build it on up. Yeah, man, uh, man, they got a lot of good things planned. Uh, I talked to the coach too in the swag, man. It got a lot of a lot of good things planned. Some major league guys want to invest into swag baseball, so um, 
we'll be hearing about some things soon coming up, hopefully. Um, you'll see Swag Baseball rise to the uh, to the uh, pinnacle where it's supposed to be, and then you'll, you'll start seeing seeing a lot of it on TV. You'll start seeing a lot, of, a lot of our guys getting drafted, and you'll just start seeing the brand of Swag Baseball come back to like it used to uh, used to be, especially when Ricky Weeks was here and those type of guys. So, um, not not out. I got a question for you because I went to a few uh, baseball games and, and I could kind of see the difference in our players and um, a lot of these other schools, you know, those those big schools. I could see the yeah. difference in their players as well. Mm-hmm. How can we get – because even when we're playing against the Mac Nieces of the world or the, or the Southeasterns of the world, it's, it's just, it just looks different, you know, even the Lamar of the world. It just looks different. How can we get, our, how can we get those, those type of players to come to our schools? <clears throat> we got to open up our pockets. We got to start building relationship with these kids, not just recruiting wise, but man, we got to use our alums who, 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 who have firsthand knowledge of these guys who have firsthand relationship with these guys. So all these guys do is talk. They talk, they play on the same summer travel teams. They play on the, some of the same high school teams and all they doing is saying, Hey man, did you go on a visit to uh, Southern university? Did you go on a visit to our corn state? Yeah, man, this school was like this. This school was like that. Ah, uh, Southern look a little better. All right, man, well, I'm going to go here. You know, y'all want to come with me? We need to start having players talk like that, man. Y'all come, let's go to the swag with me, and we can we can change the narrative and, you know, get these black players to come back to the Southwestern Athletic Conference like they belong. I look at a guy like Trey Morgan, who's probably LSU's best hitter right now. I look at what if he was in a swag. Man, that would change the whole narrative, man. A lot more guys would just follow him and come to the swag. So we need that one one Travis Hunter to come to the swag so we can start bringing others. And then that's just going to trickle down, and we just going to start seeing more and more and better and better players come to the uh, conference to play ball. Cool. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Well, you, you, you showed school me today. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. You know. and, and for people that's out there, you know, make sure y'all go support these, these players. Please. At the end yeah, of the talk. day, Go support these baseball teams. Go support they tennis. Need. Go support anything. All the non revenue sports. Right. Not just about football and basketball. Right. Go support them, man. Them, them boys work hard just like the rest of the sports do. They deserve our support. Yep. Most of these baseball games be free to get in, so it don't cost you nothing. Yep. Unless you come to Southern or something. But, you know, TSU, they play in a park, so it's yep. free to get in. They have a good environment over there at TSU, man. Family friendly. There's a lot of people that come to the game, so. Um, they be passing out fried chicken pans a lot out there too. So you go eat. What is that? At TSU. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You gotta check that yeah, out. Man, right, check right, that right, out. Right. Kindly <laughs> check it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, got watermelon. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. They got some good food out there though. They got snow cones and everything, bro. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We okay. might have to make us a little trip. Look, look, swag baseball is different from all these other conferences, man. You go get trash talkers and you go get have a good time out there. You go eat good, you go trash talk, and, and you might even have your little, little something to sip on, you know, in the game. Too. Okay, so, oh, you talking yeah. all my language. That's, okay. man, that's, 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 that's prototypical swag baseball right there, bro. So, y'all make sure y'all go out to support your local swag baseball team or any other HBCU baseball team for that fact. We gotcha, we well, Al, we really appreciate it, man. Appreciate we appreciate it, the update. We appreciate you letting us know. And we're going we gonna to see you in a week or two once yeah, the tournament starts. You got to come back. You know yeah. we going to be back. This is going to be our baseball guy. Right oh, yeah. Here. Right here. So, we so got some gumbo. Yeah. Yes, sir. There we go. Yes, there we go. Mix it all up. Uh-huh. Mix it all up. And hopefully, all going to be the one back. We will. Hopefully, they're going to be in the next update. They're going to have three wins. That's what I want. That's what I, that's what I, that's what I want. Give me, give me six. I got six. Now we stretch. I got That's six. Stretching. Let's go. That's stretching. Let's go. That's stretching. We hey, gonna pray about. We appreciate it. coming on, bro. I appreciate y'all, man. I'm gonna see y'all next week. Got All it. right. This is a hit.